So prior to the procedure, you are gonna do some blood work as usual, but when we actually do the procedure, we poke little holes into the leg veins and depending on how many catheters we need to put up, we put little spaghetti-like wires up the leg veins into your heart and these little wires actually touch the walls of your heart. They don't hurt your heart, they're very floppy, they're like long pieces of spaghetti, and when they come out of your leg veins, they are hooked up to an advanced computer system that actually allows us to sense the electricity everywhere those little wires are touching, every single wall those little wires are touching. So depending on how many little wires are put up, sometimes we can see 20 or 30 separate channels of electricity from multiple walls of your heart, all simultaneously in real time. We really can see how the electricity is flowing. And then we try to map out where these abnormal AFib cells or sources or triggers are, and then we try to get rid of it with an ablation catheter. And the ablation catheter is a catheter with a metal tip that goes up the same way under x-ray into your heart and then there's little knobs on the handle and as we turn the little knobs the tip kind of bends torques moves around and we are getting it to touch the wall of the heart where we believe there are some sources of atrial fibrillation and then we keep it in that area and we turn the catheter on and it's attached to an energy source and the energy source whether you're talking about the standard stabilization or freezing or you talk about the newest energy source pulsed filled ablation where we're using pulses of electricity or electromagnetic fields to to destroy the cells, doesn't matter. We are trying to get rid of the AFib cells in little clusters, little by little, from different areas of your heart, trying to get rid of the problem at its source.